The reason why we're here is because of the fact that you have the holidays coming up. And it's still kind of early. We're two or three months out from Christmas and, and Thanksgiving and everything. But at this time, there is a lot of um, problems with um, getting supplies in and shortage of different things that you might want to buy your friends, family, and children gifts. So you really need to start planning. And right now, is, um, even though it's a little bit late, you can still do some planning as far as with your family and everything. Um, one of the first things of, the, of it is that, that with the tip is make a list. Make a very detailed list as far as who's going to be on your shopping list. And especially if they're going to be close family to you and you're going to be buying them clothes or some unique gifts, start writing down their hobbies, their favorite colors, the sizes they might wear so you can buy exactly what they need and everything. The big thing right now is that if you are going to be ordering anything for, off of Amazon or eBay or anything like that, do that now because um, with the way shipping is going on and everything, it may take you a while. I ordered some stuff two or three months ago and I'm having an issue as far as getting the stuff. And that's for just basic business. That, that has nothing to do with gifts or anything like that. Also, another thing is that you really need to think out of the box. You know, one of the things that I do is I do a lot of gardening and, and, and different things like that. So one of the gifts possibilities that I'm thinking about doing is a CSA box to where I'm giving friends, immediate friends and family um, boxes of fruit and vegetables and stuff like that that I can grow and then let it go from there. But you can kind of apply that same principle to a lot of other things as far, especially if it's something with a hobby. If you do baking, you know, maybe do a do a, a, a box up, a customized box for your friends and families, you know, where you provide something once a month with homemade goodies and different things like that. And you might be able to supplement with coffee and um, unique snacks that might be to your area. You know, all of those are going to be good ideas. You're going to be supporting, in this case, local businesses if you do that. And... It takes a little bit of time and effort as far as thinking about it, but it might be something that you need to think about. Another thing, thing is, is that they're forecasting a lot of the prices for to, to go up as far as the cost of goods. Um, we actually use a couple of apps that kind of help us out. We use Ibotta, we use Shopkicks, we use, um, get up for gas. There's a couple different apps out there and they're all really good and reputable. And you can earn, earn points and whatnot and cash, um, but it takes a little bit of time. So that's one of the things that you might wanna do is start looking as far as how you're gonna be paying for some of the stuff. Um, you can always pick up extra hours. Um, if your business is like, that you work at is like anything like mine, um, they're always looking for extra people to, to pick up extra hours um, throughout the um, time and stuff like that. Take advantage of it. There's a lot of options out there. You just need to think out of the box. Another thing of it is, is that when you come up with your list, um, we hit at thrift, thrift stores a lot throughout the year anyways. And we will normally hit up um, certain thrift stores throughout the week that's going to be immediately close to us because they offer free furniture for 50% off or free clothing for 50% off and we try to take advantage of that while we can and we pick up some of the stuff that we need. I am going to be doing another video probably here in the next week, week and a half as far as some of the tips as far as shopping at thrift stores. Um, like I said, we normally go to a couple that's really close to where we live at. Um, there's actually Salvation Army right next to Aldi's that we shop at. And so 
when I go grocery shop and I always try to plan it accordingly with um, Salvation Army and their sales and stuff like that. I ha actually have an, another favorite thrift store that's um, in the next county. So I always make sure that I go there when they're having their sale and when I have a 50% coupon. There is nothing wrong with um, buying something from a thrift store. A lot of times you can find some new things. A lot of times you can find exactly what you're looking for at an extremely discounted price. And um, that's one of the things that um, I will let you know about in, in the next video. Another thing is, is that when you go shopping, think out of the box. We do a lot of shopping from Walgreens and a couple of the other local stores and we shop the clearance section. You just have to, um, refer back to your list as far as who you're buying for and i hope everyone has a blessed um day and that your work would co continues to to progress and everything and I, like i said i'll be doing a couple more videos here in the next week week and a half as far as what you can be doing to um save some money and still get the gifts that you want